Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way TV and happy July. Today's the 1st of July and which means it's good news. Uh, so yeah, uh, Dan Ashwood is presently uh, has, uh, the sporting director of Manchester United. You might ask why? Because there have been an agreement between Manchester United and Newcastle for Dan Ashwood to move to Old Trafford. So who is this guy, Dan Ashwood? Why did he choose Manchester United? And also, I want to tell you guys my opinion for uh, what Enos are doing in this game. Also, we'll give you guys another some news which is related to Matthews Delit because Matthew De Matthias Matthews Delit, the Bayern Munich player who, who uh, is now in the Euros, is about to be a Manchester United player in the sense that United are going really big on this deal. So let's start with the big news today. The big news today, sorry guys, the, the, the big news today is uh, Delit, uh, no, sorry, it's uh, Dan Ashwood uh, will be Manchester United uh, Director of Sports and uh, he has, uh, he will start working, he, I mean, basically, this is Fabrizio Romano right here. The Manchester United are set to sign all documents for Dan Ashwood to be announced as new sporting director. Uh, uh that, yeah and um that the compensation package has been agreed with newcastle as from david onstein actually david onstein uh announced this like 10 hours ago a bit late he has been very difficult um very i've been very busy today uh david onstein uh had just said i mean came out and, and confirmed this news uh some 10 years ago he break the news basically so who's dan uh dan ashford dan ashford has always he has worked for the fa dan ashford is someone who play who also has worked uh with um uh Brighton, he was actually bought from back Brighton to uh, Newcastle. Dan Ashford is well known by the FA, the Football Federation in the UK, as someone for his uh, disciplinary, uh, disciplinary know-how, and also he is a very good. Uh, he has one respect with those in the in the business in general. So what does he brings to Manchester United? I think Dan Ashford coming to Manchester United will give us a very good, uh, not only. Uh, uh, in terms of recruitment, but the way we are going to do our scouting. I think and I believe that now the way United, uh, Manchester United will be going forward, it will be with the youth. I am very convinced that, yes, I know previously we had uh, um, a strategy of buying young players, but I think Dan Ashford will be the guy who basically will be making those decisions on who comes in and out that is what it is so the enos announced one of the, the, the when the, the big deals that enos announced uh, uh no sir jim rackley enos announced uh this year that was i think in, in february if i'm not mistaken where omar berada was confirmed to be the ceo of manchester united he came to, from uh, a, um, manchester city nobody knew that was going to happen honestly but it did happen we know that Jer um, um we not we know that uh Wilcott Sykes is the, is also in the team of Manchester United, and uh, we are really working on trying to be, bring in one of the best in all positions. So, Dan Ashwood, I think it's a uh, it's not the it's not a bad uh, signing. United since the last uh, decade, decade right? United since Fair Alex Fair, Fair, since Fair Alex Ferguson, sorry, uh, actually uh, left uh, Manchester United. We have never had. A structure a structure is something that most of the manchester united players uh sorry fans and also players i would say have complained about with the club previous players we have had people even coaches have come up to talk about uh, structure jose Mourinho can really complain about that he never knew nobody at the, i mean there was nobody above him for him to actually uh, uh to express himself whenever he is uh he has issues with the club it was the club was badly run manchester united you know, as Ineos came and bought um, the 15% 15, uh, 15 of the club, um, uh, Ineos bought 25% uh, sorry of the club, which is at least 27 actually, someone even saying 30% of the club. They, the, one of the big deal was they were going to take part, they were going to be in charge of the football issues in regards to Manchester United, why the Glazers family are, all, are out there with the marketing uh, uh stop in the club so uh dan ashford coming to manchester united this is a deal which actually would have happened earlier we knew can you imagine newcastle uh we're trying to sabotage this deal by asking 20 million for a sporting director it would have been a record breaker yeah I, I think if um it was back in the days manchester united would have paid for that that, that transfer i mean how can you transfer a technical director like a footballer it, it, it didn't work he was bought in 2020 from Brighton in the region of maybe two, three million, I think two, three million pounds in minus plus. 
And uh, it is reported that Manchester United have settled that sum with uh, Newcastle. So the, the, the demand which uh, Newcastle wanted, we went, uh, we, we said, no, we aren't going on uh, that path. We are moving towards our own path. So um, we know now that with Berada there, uh, you know, uh, Jason Wilcott, we know, uh, we know now that Dana Shoot now is there. We are hearing about building also, so they are trying to build another t uh, recruit, recruitment um, people into Old Trafford. I think Manchester United, moving forward, it might not be felt this season, but it will be felt by the middle and next season. Why do I say this? Because, you know, yes, this, these guys were in Garden, Garden Leave. We know my brother will start working by the end of, the, end of this mo month. We know that, that uh, this is a fact, right? You don't need to prove it. This is a fact. Most of these guys who are working in this direction and in, in, in working in these positions, they are communicating with Manchester United. They, might, they will always have somebody who is going to express uh, their opinion on various choices. So when you get um, uh, all this information of ins and out in Manchester United, I am very convinced that these guys have a hand in it. So, uh, yeah, um, um, let's go straight to the next point. The other thing is Matthews Delete. Delete. We talked about Delete yesterday. Matthews Delete, and this uh, and it's been it's becoming very serious that Manchester United are really going to go for Delete. And uh, yeah, because uh, if you if you know that Delete is a player which Manchester United have always wanted to bring in Old for This is a player that we have been scouting before the Ineos group came in. And some most of you might be thinking Delete is just only a Ten Hag, another Dutch player coming to Manchester United. No, that's not the case. The issue is that. There is a way Manchester United wants to play, and we need to bring the players we want. They have to be agile. They have to know how to play a high line. The high line in football is so, in the modern game, is so important. That's why City has been very successful. The high line, I can say 60% of Premier League teams are trying to, to meet that demand of playing a high line, while the rest 40 are really. Uh, are, are mostly playing on the counter-attacking, which is an old-school way of uh, approach in football games. So Delete is a, a player 24 years, will be 25 in August. He, uh, we did a video about him yesterday where we break down uh, comparison, um, the, uh, com comparison between Delete and Varane, the player, which uh, the, the, the defender of Manchester United who left uh, last season, which didn't leave, he left, but his contract did expire. So Delete 24 will be 25 in January, in, uh, in August. He is um, coming to Manchester United, and United have uh, said yesterday, uh, Fabrizio Romano confirmed it yesterday, that this is not this deal has nothing to do with Gerard Bradway's deal, which means uh, the lead coming to Manchester United is uh, he is coming to play with another uh, defender. That's why I did ask you guys in the morning today. I dropped a question for you: Who should we sell? Should it be uh, on that's on the member, not on the membership, on uh, on the community tab right on youtube here on this channel i asked you guys who should we sell should we sell harry Magwe or um lindelof and uh so far I, I haven't looked at it i think i can look at it now but anyway it's not important for now but i think there it makes us understand who we want i think most uh, most of you would like to see lindelof leave but anyway we will see how things move at that end so daily coming to manchester united there have been concrete talks with daily um he earns, I think, uh, 250,000 euros in uh, Germany. And uh, the, the, the good news here is that the Bundesliga team wants to sell. And uh, the lead will be really open to play for, to match for Manchester United. For some reason, they are not using him in the Euros now. I don't know. Maybe injury, maybe system, maybe tactics. I don't know. The lead is a player that has to be playing. We have been getting rumors from most of the fans saying the lead is not that quick, which I think is rubbish. He is playing. He has been playing with all clubs. All the clubs he plays for play high line. So seeing the league isn't that quick. I am a bit uh, skeptical with it. He's athletic on the hundreds. Uh, that's a hundred percent. So Manchester United will the Brad, the Brightway deal isn't over. I know this is not about Brightway, but uh, I think what the way we are moving now is United since it's July already. We have to be traveling to the U.S. at the end of the month for the tour. United will be clinching deals. We have started with um bringing in um bringing in um, 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 um danashwood 
And uh, in terms of players, I think Zeski deal, deal is close uh, from what is coming from uh, those who are specialists in it. And I'm very confident that United will end by the end of this, uh, by middle this month, United will be already have at least two, three players to add in in in, uh, in the team. And guess what? Some players might be leaving, but uh, that's up to the team to decide, to, to the club to decide. Anyway, guys, short one year is just a reaction. Uh, if you, you know, watch till now, you are a legend. Uh, Dan, Dan Ashworth coming to Manchester United. Give me your thoughts about that. Also about Delete, what do you think? Do you think Delete will be a better version of Harry Magwe? Because this uh, Magwe, no matter how you look at things, Harry Magwe has been the 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 the, the, the discussion of uh, these last uh, years in Manchester United. So uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, make sure you click the like on the video if you learned something. Click the like on the video if you just didn't learn anything. Dislike the video. That's also <laughs> good for for us to know. And um, Guys, uh, with that all said, guys, uh, tomorrow we will try to be, we will be at 10 o'clock UK time here on the stream. So smash a like on the video, get involved with the United Way, and uh, yeah, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.